In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, uh, ironically, today's episode is going to launch and be live on Thanksgiving morning. So if you're coming to us here in the United States, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. But this also uh, represents the 200th episode of the podcast. And as I said, it's kind of ironic that it's happening on Thanksgiving morning. So first off, I want to share as much gratitude as I possibly can to you, the listener, to you, the follower, I really appreciate uh, the time and attention you've given to me over the past, we're coming up on a couple of years, in April it'll be two years now, but definitely 200 episodes in. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for me and it's been a, a growth challenge, meaning I've had to grow into being comfortable hitting record, uh, learning the different ways and techniques of uh, making sure the audio is good, making sure the video is good. Uh, marketing, all the different kinds of things that comes along with trying to start something from scratch. I've had to learn it all. And you've been right there along with me uh, through the 200 episodes so far. So first off, I wanted to express a ton of gratitude for you, the listener, or to you, the listener, uh, for following me here on the Rich Mind Podcast. So on today's episode, I thought, what better thing to do? Uh, I do I'm doing this constantly in my life, and it's been a great exercise and I thought I would share that exercise with you today, uh, something you can do immediately as soon as we jump off the episode here today. Uh, but if you don't have time to do it right away, I understand. Uh, maybe just come back to this. You might want to uh, save this episode and then come back to it here in the future, in the near future, over the weekend, maybe when you have some spare time. Or if you're not even catching this in real time, if you're listening to this in the future, I know sometimes that might happen as well. This would be a great exercise to do at any time. It doesn't have to be in the Thanksgiving time frame of the year. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this time of year makes us grateful. And as I said, I'm grateful for you. So let's get into that exercise. Today's probably going to be a little bit of a short episode. So that way you can get back to your family and your friends. Start celebrating the holiday here this morning on Thanksgiving morning. But that exercise is, is a gratitude exercise. And what I want to do, and I'm always telling you here on the podcast, something I've picked up as a, a habit is journaling. I journal 99% of the time. There will be times or days that I do miss, uh, but I'm going to encourage you moving into the end of 2024 and going into 2025. You need, I would say highly suggest, you don't need to do anything, but I would highly suggest you try to think about considering uh, the practice of journaling. And today, if today maybe might be your first entry into your journal, uh, or if you're a little bit more experienced like me, this would be an easy exercise. But I want you to write down five different things. Actually, we're going to write down 15 in total. But first of all, I want to write down five things that you're grateful for from your past. Now, I know a lot, a lot of us, uh, myself included, uh, some of our past uh, may not have been the most pleasant experiences in life. But I'm confident because I've been able to do it for myself that if you give yourself a little bit of time, sit and contemplate some of the past experiences. And I'm talking about it can be simple things. Uh, it can be birthdays you remembered. It can be holidays that you remembered. It can be the, the times with your loved ones. It can be the times with your pets. The point is, is that I want you to get in the habit of experiencing and thinking about things that you can be grateful for. And if you get in that habit, uh, you can definitely start seeing some positive things coming back into your life. So that first step in this exercise this morning or today is to think about and write down five things you're grateful for from your past. And I'm going to leave you here with a couple seconds and then we'll get into the next phase. All right, welcome back. So next, I want you to same journal and, you know, let me preface that with saying, you know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be a, a notebook. I mean, it could be just some basic plain sheets of paper. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. Uh, I have a little bit more of a, a fancy uh, journal uh, that I keep, but it's because I've decided to take up the practice of doing it uh, mostly every day. 
uh, I would encourage you to, if, if you get into that practice, that you can possibly look into an investment like that. But for now, today, it can be as simple as just picking up a, a piece of paper and jotting these things down. Hang on to them, date them, maybe put a date on it. I put a date on each one of my entries. That way, when I go back to it, I can kind of see what my mindset was, what was going on in my life in those times. But definitely, uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want to make sure you knew that right off the bat. So the second part of this exercise, and you might even priority predict some of that. But the second part of the exercise is what are you grateful for today? Today, what's going on in your in your life uh, right now? It can be in your current environment. It can be within your family. It can be within your employment. It can be with a business opportunity. It can be anything. So I want you to jot down five separate things you're grateful for today in your current environment right now as we speak. So take a couple minutes here and pause the episode and we'll come back with the last piece here of this exercise. All right, great. I really appreciate you doing this exercise. So one thing that I've done too is I've journaled a lot, but then I've also taken this practice and I've done it without writing anything down. You can be grateful at any time, anywhere, which is your thoughts. And I would I encourage you to start working towards that as well. But let's move on to the uh, the last piece of this exercise today that I really want you to take moving forward. And that is, what are you grateful for in your future? And I know that might sound a little bit strange, meaning you don't know exactly what your future is going to be. But what I want you to do is start thinking about 2025, 26, and going on into your future. How do you see your life unfolding? It's a perfect time now that we're towards the end of this current calendar year, 2024, to start thinking about some goals, some things to look forward to, some things to be excited about and start being grateful for those now. Uh, There's so many things. It can be, once again, it can be very simple. It can be vacations. It can be time off. It can be spending time with loved ones. It can be anything. It could be a pet. It can be starting your own podcast. It can be anything. I can remember a couple years ago, that was one of the things I had on my gratitude list was the beginning, the launch of the Rich Mind podcast. Uh, And then here we are 200 episodes in and I'm still grateful. Uh, I'm excited about the future and I'm grateful for what is coming. And then, so get into the exercise of thinking about your future. You can start painting the picture of what you want your life to look like. Now, will it work out exactly the what you have envisioned today? Probably not, because when I launched the podcast, for example, I had no idea where I would be. I had no idea kind of what I was doing. I had a, a an idea. I had a vision and I went to work and I made it real. And that's what I want you to do today is start painting that vision of what you want your future life to look like. So try to think of five, if you can, five things that you're excited for, that you're grateful for, for your future self, that if you go to work and do that today, you'll be well on your path to taking the right actions and the right steps to start bringing those things to life. And I want to encourage you to do that starting today and right now. So once again, let's, uh, I just want to express a ton of gratitude. Thank you for being here with me today. Uh, Once again, happy Thanksgiving. If you're catching this in real time uh, from the United States, uh, be grateful. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for all the opportunities, big and small. Uh, There's some good things and changes coming up here on the Rich Mind podcast at the beginning of the calendar year 2025. Once again, the the podcast is ever evolving. I've got different ideas, different visions, trying to ever increase the value that you will get uh, as a listener, as a follower of the podcast. And so that's what I'm excited for, for myself, for you, uh, for my family. And that's what I really want for you to take away from this episode today. You can be grateful for things in your past. You can definitely be grateful for the things you have in your current present reality, but then you can also be grateful for the great things that are coming to you in the future, which is exciting. When you start thinking about planning for the future, taking control of your life, taking control of your thoughts, your emotions, the future is, is bright. And I know it will be for you also moving forward. So thank you again for joining me here today. Uh, share this episode with your family and friends. If you don't mind, uh, try to help me sh- spread the message of the Rich Mind podcast as far and as wide as you possibly can. And uh, have have a fantastic day. Enjoy some, some good food. Enjoy your family. If you're a football fan, enjoy the games today. I'm looking forward to it. My son and I, were going to sit down and watch some football. Uh, but anyways, have a fantastic day. Thanks again for joining me. I look forward to coming back with the next episode again very soon. Until then, bye now. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. And remember, your external world is a reflection 
of what's going on inside of you. So focus every day on that internal battle and win within. Until next time, my friends.